Hello viewers, what I'm doing here today is I'm going to show you what my newest purchase is. Right here. This is the Work Sharp Knife and Tool Sharpener. Work Sharp. As you can see here on the box, it is a knife sharpener, tool sharpener, broadhead sharpener, flay knife sharpener. And what it does is it does it all with abrasive pads. Okay, well, you know what? I'm no expert, but I've seen them shows how it's made on the Discovery Channel. And I know for a fact that when you buy yourself a brand new Dexter Russell knife, there isn't some guy sitting there with a Arkansas stone okay there's no guy in an Arkansas stone doing the old uh, you know with the, with the blade you know what I mean so they do it with belts and stuff like that okay let me switch the camera around here one second they're doing it with belts they're doing it with big belts burnishing or polishing the blade and everything well guess what that's what this does so let me plug it in I am going to show you these belts are what sharpen the knife different grades of belt coarseness Okay, I got some extra belts right here, and uh, here it shows it. Shows it right there. Different grades of belts. You got different um, guards, or what do you call it, angles. Okay, really good instructions. Even came with a DVD. It's got a little go-to card right here showing you all the different types of abrasive stuff okay and accessories believe it or not you could pay so much more and get this bag and get that okay this retractable knife home so this is it and this is my knife box camera a little bit this is my knife box remember my case in foam do you remember that project I did for my camera case well there's my knife box and here's one that I just sharpened okay which is this old Rapala knife let me move this out of the way and I am going to show you how you sort of do this it's just my, just something you might be interested in. I always like passing things on. Okay, you put this little uh, angle guard on there. Now these are the angles in which you'll you'll use for like a flay knife. I did my favorite little pocket knife that I always keep with me, my little San Diego Police Department K9 unit knife, a little buck, and I repolish that entire edge right there and man that dude is a wicked sharp so this is my knife I'm going to, I always use for skinning if I'm using regular fillet knives right just it's a good blade a good all-around blade and here's how it works put it down in there You change the blades by doing this. You, here's it's just a tensioner. Put it around the here. See now I'm using a real fine blade right there now. And then all of a sudden you can change out the blade just real quick. Or not I keep saying blades, the belts. Change out the belts, 
Okay, and I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to get a little composition newspaper, note, note paper here. And they seem to do this a lot on sharpening YouTube videos. Okay. Let me turn my screen on the camera. Okay. Make sure that they do this a lot. I'd say that some bitch is sharp, huh? Woo, dude. Right, let me get, let me get the little fact. I think it works best with the factory angle here. Okay, so that ought to prove something to you. I think that some gun right there can take care of a trout, no problem. Take the skin right off of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's how it works. And it's got this guard here that you can slide on. Slide it on like that. And now you got a 25 degree on each side, plus a place to do serrated blades. Okay. Take this off. Go under here and click it. And you can rotate this now. And now you can polish something this way. Okay. This, there's a long story of the reason that I actually purchased this from Amazon. And the reason being is because one of my favorite knives in the entire world was the old Havilon. Okay, and the Havilon, by the time I purchased, and let me show you, by the time I purchased 20 of these blades, these are replaceable Havilon blades. You've seen me on these. I did, I did a review of this. There you go, right? You pop this, you take it off. Throw this blade away. Actually, I never I never throw them away. I always cut them on the toolbox. Snap a new blade on, there you go. That's the Barracuda. I love it. You put on one of these blades, and that dude, that dude's wicked sharp, just like this. But here's the problem. They want, when you get 20 of these blades, okay, in a little tiny box, for, I can't even remember, but when you order the blades, they're going to charge you $11.50 for shipping. Boy, did I call them to the carpet on that. I called the company and complained that they're sending this, these, a little box of blades, 20 of these stacked up in a little plastic. Okay, the box they're sending to you ain't even as big as this. And what they were going to do is charge you $11.50 for, for shipping. It went up. It never used to be that much. And I said, well, guess what? I did the review on this. I know a lot of people that are using this knife. I got some goo all in there. Okay. I've been touting this knife as my sort of go-to. And now you're just losing me because I refuse to pay $11.50 for blades for these. So, when it all come to it... For 20 or 25 blades plus eleven dollars and fifty cents for shipping, I went to Amazon.com and I bought this thing for the exact same price. Free shipping. With with these extra belts. Okay? Here's all the extra belts, all different colors, they're all color coded. Okay. I got this, this, and free shipping. All for the same thing as it would have cost me for these for these for twenty of these blades. So I told him, I said, You didn't just you just done pissed me off. Okay. And here you go. This is on the work sharp. All the different grades here. You can go all the way to fine diamond. And then this is ceramic oxide. You got like eighty grit all the way up to fifteen hundred grit. And there's 6,000 or whatever. I don't know anything about it. I just got all this. But let's, here's this little thing right here. Is Let's just say a fillet knife. Okay, fillet knife. You want to use it at the 40 degree. And a good one to use is the red and the purple. And that's what I'm using right here. Okay. 
I had a green on there, because that's all I had, and then I went to the purple, and I sharpened this up for skin and trout. We all know yellow mouth and speckled trout are really hard to skin, so I'm using this Rapala, which has got a good blade. It's got a couple, a little nick right there, but you saw how sharp this thing is. So, there's my new purchase. This thing has got huge recommendations. I mean, through the roof recommendations on Amazon.com. Thanks for watching.